Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and I upload every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'm a little bit early for this weekend's video and that's because I'm actually in Oregon. I'm in Bend, Oregon on a vacation with my husband. He is best man in a wedding so we're here celebrating with the bride-to-be and the groom-to-be and it's been amazing. I felt compelled to make this video because I have a decision that I came to this past week when I was looking ahead to my travels. I was packing my bag. I was thinking, you know, how am I going to make Brightline eating work and as a member of the Brightline eating official Facebook page I see so many people posting about how they are committed to the lifestyle and how they have packed their food scale and they pack their triscuits to go and you know all their food all that good stuff I've done that before I have once traveled to Disney World packed four days worth of food had my madras lentils had my triscuits packed had my apples all that good stuff I've done that before I decided on this trip because this is a massive trip this was a cross-country trip like I live in you know West Palm Beach Florida so South Florida to freaking Oregon you know across the country like how much farther could you be apart and I knew I was here for several days so I made a decision that instead of doing the typical bright lane eating lifestyle for the four days while I was traveling I decided I was going to eat low carb or keto and the reason is because with Brightline eating, there's a lot of pre-planning and pack stuff with you like a food scale, you know, make sure you're pre-planned and commit your food, all that good stuff. And I love Brightline eating. You guys know I'm down more than, I, in fact, at this point, I'm down almost 60 pounds and most of it has been lost through Brightline eating. So you guys know how much of a fan I am of the program. However, for convenience sake and because of the fact that I've been doing it for a while now, I felt comfortable making the decision to go keto slash low carb and what that means is I can kind of fly by the seat of my pants and I've been trying to stick to the whole no snacking rule um, and you know I kind of broke that line a little bit on the plane I started feeling a little air sick you know a little motion sick so I ate some almonds you know I was like okay it's low carb but it's got a little fiber in it let me eat some almonds you know but what I've done on this trip that's also a little bit different than what I would typically do if you know years ago when I was doing keto and low carb I've been prioritizing vegetables and I think that's important because one of the fatal flaws to me in my opinion with the way that I did keto and low carb in the past and why I couldn't lose weight is because I would eat dirty keto and I'm talking like cheese ground beef you know hamburgers with mayo and I would barely eat vegetables and I think that with Brightline eating one of the reasons it's so amazing is because it prioritizes vegetables you eat 20 ounces of vegetables a day so for me on this trip I've been doing the low-carb keto thing and I've been mindful of the fact that the more veggies I eat the better I feel so this is you know for breakfast I had like a low-carb quiche and I had like a side salad that I decided to pack with me I also picked up this little hummus plate that has some olives and hummus and you know fresh veggies and I'm gonna have those for lunch and I'm telling you like it's been a good decision for me because it's a wedding that I'm at so we were at rehearsal dinner last night and literally I'm like I couldn't have eaten bright light eating on this unless I packed my food and I already feel like I'm a little bit weird, you know, people with, that meet me are like, oh, she's a little personality plus, you know. So I'm a little bit weird and I just felt like if I had packed my food and done Brightly eating, I'm like, oh, I brought my salad and, you know, pre-weighed, pre-measured, I would have felt like a little bit different. Now, on Brightly eating, I encourage you to have the strength of character and integrity to yourself that you can do that. And if I had really been like in the mood to be like 100% Brightly eating, I would have done it. No apologies because your food is your food. You got your eyes on your own plate. You don't need to answer to anybody. Who cares what you eat? For me, for convenience, I really was like, I'm just going to eat what I find as long as it's keto and low carb. And I had a tri-tip little steak thing last night. I had the side salad and that was it. You know, and that's the only thing that they had that served me. There was a lot of carbs, a lot of NMF on Bright Lane Eating. We call it not my food. So this is what I chose to do for me on this trip. And it has been working and I've been enjoying it. And I've been focusing on the experience instead of the food, which is another tip that I have for you for travel is focus on what you're doing and the company that you're keeping and the world around you. I'm in Oregon right now. Let me flip it and show you a quick little. This is not the most beautiful you know because i'm in the parking lot of the hotel where we're staying so literally we're in the middle of the suburbs but i just left a state park where there was like a little you know creek and rushing water i walked over the bridge like i literally oh look you can see the mountain over there one little mountain let me show you look at that little mountain that's nice so I've been here enjoying my surroundings, enjoying my time with my husband. My son's at home with my dad. My dad's taking care of him, grandpa duty. And I've just been having a good time and focusing on 
what it's like to travel now that I'm fully vaccinated and so my husband. So it's been a great experience and I wanted to come on and keep my commitment to do a food focused video for you because that's my commitment on my channel is I'm extremely focused on the weight loss content. But I also felt like my perspective this weekend is a little bit different than what it would typically be because typically I would be like bright lane eating and you know weigh and measure and bring your food, prepack, all that. That's how I typically live. I typically live the, the bright lane eating lifestyle. But on this trip, I wanted to do something different. I also want to tell you that I have chosen not to consume alcohol because alcohol is not on the bright lane eating program and I have experimented with it in the past and um, at my husband's birthday I had a glass of what we would call NMD not my drink I had a glass of wine at my husband's birthday in March and it led to a binge for like a month and so I'm very careful I'm like you know I don't, I'm gonna tell you, I don't know if the wine itself led to the binging because I think what triggered me was really more rice. Although you can eat rice in Brightland eating, I'm half Asian, so rice is like a trigger food for me. Like I started eating it and started, it's like, you know, compulsive eating for weeks after that. So I don't know if it was the wine, it might've been the rice that triggered me, but I don't wanna mess with it. Like I just feel like it's very risky and I've been tempted on this trip to consume alcohol because I was like, oh, you know, I think I'm one of those bright light eaters that can have a glass of wine and not be affected. But I was like, let me not mess with that. I'm on a trip, you know, I'm already eating keto. I don't wanna go any further than this. So anyway, I'm rambling at this point. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend and I have more bright light eating focused content coming at you. I have a couple of videos that need to be edited. Um, I just didn't want to do it on this weekend trip. I was like, let me just do a quick weekend, you know, uh, update Facebook or not Facebook Live, YouTube Live about what I'm eating and how I'm prioritizing, veg prioritizing vegetables. I hope this content is helpful for you. Give it a thumbs up if it is. Thank you for those of you who tuned in and I love y'all so much. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, if you want to see the content that I've been posting about Oregon because we hiked Tumalo Falls yesterday, um, go to my Instagram at Angela Cruz Tube. Same username is here on um, YouTube. Go to my Instagram because I've been posting like the stories and the grid, like the pictures that we're taking. So anyway, love y'all. See you soon. Bye.